What's up everyone? You're back watching us on another episode. I'm Trist. I'm Kez. We're... <laughs> it's, like, it's like we're ITV presenters. Hey, I'm Trist. I'm Kez. And you're back for another episode. <laughs> Welcome. Let's go. Welcome back if you've been here before and hello if you're new. We're Trist and Kez and we love adventuring around the UK in our camper van. So come along and join the ride. This week we take a trip to Dorset and the Isle of Purbeck in England, UK and in this episode we show you some of the sights, park ups and what you can do if you travel to the Dorset area. Let's go! Yeah, this week we've done a little trip to Dorset once again but this time we've come to the Isle of Purbeck near Swanage and that or Swanage is in the Isle of Purbeck and our first stop is Castle Corf. So we're away for two nights this trip. We're staying in Dorset, aren't we? No. You've actually done all the planning for this trip, haven't you? Yeah. I, am, I actually don't even know where we're going. I know we're in Dorset, that's about it. It's quite fun. Yeah. Quite fun not knowing any of the plans. So first stop is the Castle Corf. We'll go for a little walk around there in a sec. Should be fun. Well, Castle Corf is National, Trum uh, National Trust run and is £10 for entry, but as cool people, we are National Trust members. So we've got free parking in the car park just opposite. I'll show you that footage now. Got toilets. Got toilets, got a little, little, water, cafe. little water bowl for dogs. And then you cross the road, yeah, and then you can walk all the way around the castle. So if you didn't want to pay, you can actually walk around, have a look, get quite a high well, I think there's vantage some, point up here. The ring and then walks. the castle's over there. The ring walks. Yeah, that's what we're on at the moment. So I think you can go up and around and yeah, it loops around, so I think there's a few walks from the castle. Yeah, too. but yeah, we've seen loads of people walking around sort of around the castle and then in the castle. So yeah, we're gonna go in the castle now. Just had our pat lunch, didn't we? Yeah, had our pat lunch, sat in a field. That was lovely, wasn't it? We flew the drone. Flew the drone. Cue footage now. Corf Castle is a fortification standing above the village of the same name on the Isle of Purbeck Peninsula in the English county of Dorset. Built by William the Conqueror, the castle dates back to the 11th century and commands a gap in the Purbeck Hills on the route between Wareham and Swanage. Nice. Yeah, that was cool. Did a, yeah, a few drone shots of the castle. But yeah, yeah come on, let's get moving, eh? Yeah. Do a bit of walking and talking. Walking and talking. And then when we get to more people, we'll stop recording. Because <laughs> we feel awkward. Uh, I wonder if when everyone starts doing yeah, this, they feel they like do. a plum. Yeah, of course they do. I hope they do. Well, no, I hope they don't. Oh, well, no. You yeah, I hope, not feel like hope you're all plum. feeling like plum. Yeah. But you just, yeah. If anyone else out there is a YouTuber, and a experienced vlogger, did you feel like a plum in the beginning? Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> Make us feel better. Oh, oh hang on a minute, well. should just say quickly. Yeah, so we just went through a squeaky gate. This one's for wandering where. We'll pop the what three words up and tag you in, mate. Uh, if come you don't. Play a tune. Yeah, come play a tune. Oh, it was a wicked gate. <laughs> loads of loads of sound. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't watched Wandering Where or you don't know what I'm going on about, head on over to his channel. He's a stealth car camper who does a bit of wild camping, stealth car camping. Hiking. Uh, hiking, top bloke, fun to watch. Definitely. But yeah, he's uh, getting everyone to tag in squeaky gates, so go check <laughs> him out. It's fun. Life <laughs> needs to be more fun. Yeah. Lovely idea, I love it. Is this gate gonna be squeaky? Or... Oh, we've got the high note. Oh, it's a oh. Nah. oh, bit of a low one there. Who'd have thought we'd be doing that, eh? Checking out squeaky gates. Taking a left at the end of the footpath, we headed into the village and went for a wander. It was a lovely village with a small population of just under 1500 people. Walking around the houses, you really felt like you'd step back in time. Water. Then we headed back to the van, as Frank needed a rest and we needed some more food. And we had a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so we attempted to go to the castle, didn't we, Kez? Mm -hmm. But a little bit too hot on it for this guy. I'll show you. Yeah, this guy can't handle the heat at all. Look at him. Oh, bless him. Got his little water there, just chilling out. Not even been out that long, have we? Not made him walk far. <laughs> We're not cruel people. No, not far at all. I think it's 19 degrees today. <laughs> yeah, it's too much for him. And then in the castle, you have to go up the hill where it's hotter, isn't it? Yeah. 
but we had a lovely Quite walk through the village in instead, didn't we? Oh yeah, lovely walk through mm. the little village. Really, like if you wanted to, if you didn't come with a dog or children, there's loads of like museums and gift shops and cafes and bar. Yeah, yeah really a few lovely. Pubs and restaurants. Yeah. yeah, really lovely, isn't it? Like the houses were amazing, weren't they? Like all the hey, you almost dropped a sandwich. <laughs> like the thatched roofs, stone buildings, all seemed really old, didn't they? Mm. Eat up, mate. <laughs> Love to live there. Yeah, very historical around here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, saw the smallest, was it the smallest town hall? In England. Yeah, so we saw the smallest town hall in England. So yeah, where are we going to go to next? Oh. I don't actually know, do I? No. Haha, <laughs> I knew exactly where we were going. We headed to our park up for the night, where I planned a walk through the countryside to the beach. Countrysides to coastlines. See what I did there. We pulled up to our spot. It looks like it's set in an old quarry, with views looking over the beach, top spot. There were quite a few footpaths around us in different directions. We packed a bag and headed to the beach. Word of warning, there is a toll road if you want to park at the beach. Hello, mate. Go on. Look. Quit. <laughs> oh, look, I think they, they want some. Oh, uh, being chased by these two little, uh, little lambs. I know, weird, isn't it? It's going down a public footpath, of course. This is the coolest public footpath I've ever been on. How lovely are these lilies? Oh. Adventure dog, plenty of other paths. He's getting the most difficult one. Little Frank update he's got all his life full of beans, isn't he? Now, yeah. sun's gone in and the wind's picked up, and I reckon it's gone down a degree or two. So, we're in a safe zone with Frank. He's now the life and soul of the party. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Leading the way 20 minutes ago. I think he was dying. So far, it's been a lovely walk though, isn't it, yeah, Kez? it's been gorgeous, isn't it? Really nice. Parked up in the quarry car park and uh, hit the footpaths. And look at this absolute view. We're heading down to the beach. That's the thing, most people make the most of the sunny weather. We make the most of the cloudy weather, Frank. <laughs> well, we have to. <laughs> As I just did my little Frank update. That camera is very close to my yeah, face. <laughs> oh, Kez has got the cam, so it's just on me. <laughs> So Trist, are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Look, these amazing fields of wheat next to Yeah, I'll show you. There we go, fields of wheat. Absolutely beautiful and uh -huh. golden. We arrived at Kimmeridge Bay. There's fossils here. I've read it's great for surfing and you can even spot dolphins. We're firing underway at Lulworth Firing Range. We kept our heads down and headed to the beach. Beware, no climbing, no fossil hunting, no hammers, no metal detectors. Oh, that's mental. All the different thousands and millions of years. Crazy. Look at all those sheep. Down at Kimmeridge Bay, or well, not fossil hunting, as there's a big sign there, don't looking. Yeah, just keeping your eyes out for fossils. I have no idea how you go about doing that. Got a feeling you've got to smash them open with rocks because that seems to be a no no here as well. Yeah, no hammers, no metal detectors. No fossil hunting. Seems like everyone's on the uh, little fossil hunt, doesn't it? Huh? Seems like everyone's on the fossil hunt, although yeah. you're not supposed to that's be doing I, it. That's what I was doing. You must be able to find them down here, because so many people down here. That's what everyone's yeah. doing. Yeah, well we are on the Jurassic Coast, aren't we? But I think we're uh, going to leave the beach and head up to this little point. A oh, bit of information. You can park here, there's a little sort of like food coffee van, isn't there, on the entrance? Yeah, like an ice cream type thing. Yeah, so uh, beverages and Beautiful parking. Views. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? All you can hear is sheep <laughs> barking, barring. They sound angry, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do sheep. sound well annoyed. 
Right, should we go up to the tower? To the tower. food van and the beach we were just on. Just walked all the way around and went up here. Here we have Clevel Tower. It's a four-story tower. I think you can rent it uh, for like private accommodation, and it was built in 1830. And then opposite, you've got this view here. Not too shabs. Yeah, I reckon they're just fishermen's huts. Like that's just someone's fishing boat, isn't it? to the end of the other side of that beach we were there earlier and then we were just up there and now we're down here and this is lovely no one around right to the end of this road and then we found ourselves here seems to be some sort of weird path at the end here let's go and check it out where does it go low tide so perfect for a little explore. This is sick, isn't it? Just up there, all those layers and layers of rock again. Oh look, it's ain't living up there. No, it's ain't living up there. Probably rabbits or something, I guess, I don't know. Answers on a postcard. Oh, that was a bit slimy. Oh, lovely. Ta -da! Found ourselves back down here. But this time, nobody around. It's on a different bit of beach. Nice. Always find a little bit of seclusion, don't we, Kez? So, done it again, in we, Kez? Yeah. Found ourselves a lovely little quiet beach where we're surrounded by sandstone and cliffs. And yeah, it's just lovely, isn't it? Absolutely like, gorgeous. Looking around, we can see all like countryside and then it hits this dramatic Jurassic coast. Ah, oh, just the sound of the birds and the sea. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. I think that's why we uh, always struggle to get pictures for Instagram or film for YouTube, because it's just so lovely being in the moment, isn't it? Yeah, just sitting there and enjoying it. Yeah. Just us and nature. I am pretty pleased that we came this way because we've done Weymouth before, but that's as far, much of Dorset as we've done, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, that's a little further than this, isn't it? So to have so come, yeah, we've, well, yeah, we've just never been here before. It's no. lovely, isn't it? It's nice as well to find something a little closer to home. Yeah. To be able to reach, what was it, two and a half hours drive? Yeah, about that two and a half reach. hours. When you've been vanning for five years, that really is nothing. Yeah, but we kind of, like, we've spent on this trip, like we try to do with a lot of trips, it's like do the big drive and then stay in an area where we don't have to drive too much yeah. whilst we're there. Yeah. It seems to work, doesn't it? Yeah. We leave the beach now. Walk this nice sunny afternoon back to the van. Make ourselves a nice little cup of coffee, eh, Kiz? Hi. And relax and look at a lovely view. Exactly. Maybe have some dinner. Oh, an early dinner. I don't know what time it is, to be fair. Five o'clock. All oh, right, so maybe not so. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. We headed back to the van, checked out our park up, and prattled about taking photos of us pretending to rock climb. I think this guy's had a good day. Oh, I've disturbed the beast. That 
absolutely knackered. I had too much fun today. Then we chilled back for the evening, watched the sunset and thought about all the fun we'll have tomorrow. That's it for this episode. Check out our next vlog for day two in Dorset. We go to a famous quarry caves famed in Doctor Who and Blake 7, head out for more epic walks with views and see dinosaur footprints. Ooh, uh. Until next time, folks, don't forget to leave us a comment. Would you come to Dorset and the Isle of Purbeck? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with someone you love. Until next time, folks, bye for now.